Are you talking to the wrong kids? Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, no, because <clears throat> that's the one thing, you know, there's business was not uh, a strong point for any, uh, either of us or anybody in the family for that matter. It was all about art, mm -hmm. but never about um, commerce. <laughs> So, so it wasn't about really starting a business for business's sake. It was just doing something that you're passionate about mm -hmm. and just doing it and doing it and keep taking those steps in a forward motion until all of a sudden it does become successful. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, and then it was, it's, it's an interesting, it's when it, when it does become successful, you're like, well, it's cool that people like it, but all the other stuff that goes with it starts to become a real pain in the ass because mm -hmm. it's not necessarily mm -hmm. that aspect of it is not mm -hmm. fun, you know. Mm -hmm. And and I don't I don't enjoy it. So I've been forced to learn how to deal with business because mm -hmm. I I have to. But uh, I've never considered myself a businessman or or anything like that. Wow. Yeah, it's it's you know for sure I've made every mistake and yeah. pitfall and you know ten years plus of like really struggling through the business but loving what I did so much that not wanting to walk away from it so always kind of like trying to rekindle or put the pieces of the puzzle back together to make it a successful brand again um, yeah it's been a humbling experience because you know from such a young age I started around 16 and then uh, was was hugely successful quickly and then to kind of have the reality of of you know the, the lack of infrastructure start to you know break things apart and then also with me not really having any kind of business background a high school dropout mm. um, you know sure it was hard I was trying my best to kind of like run the business but I was also growing up so I was you know having uh, you know all the issues of of, of uh, wanting to play still and not really taking things seriously and then drugs and um, you know all that fun stuff as well that just kind of totally broke the the focus and concentration well I mean I just I I you know I tried letting other people take care of it and I learned the hard way not to do that so now you know now I have to look at business very very seriously but uh, you know I you, you try to avoid that issue trying to you know put the responsibility on somebody else but even even if you hire professionals to do it for you you have to know exactly what's going on you know um, well I mean it's interesting to hear it from your perspective because, I mean, for me, you know, Guns N' Roses was was a very unique lineup of people that mm -hmm. was sort of special in its own way, but it also very combustible. So mm -hmm. it it wasn't destined to last for a very long time. Yeah. But that was what that was what was the beauty of it. It mm -hmm. was uh, so raw and real. You know, you couldn't really sort of contain it. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, Velvet Revolver was successful but I didn't enjoy Belt Revolver that much. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a lot of issues with mm -hmm. uh, one of the guys in the band and it was just a very difficult band to manage because mm -hmm. everybody was very uh, famous in the band and there was a lot of people all trying to make money off of it mm -hmm. and uh, it sort of it just be, it was very difficult and then so I and then I would have periods of, of not being able to um, do what it is that I wanted to do for whatever reasons, it could have been uh, any number of reasons, but uh, I just keep at it of doing it and you just keep doing it until it works, you know. Mm -hmm.